Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Kelp farm between episodes, as promised. Uh, I'm just feeding it into a drawer with a void upgrade. I also set up a worm bin. Makes fertilizer, which is bone meal, and worms. Don't know if I'll ever need worms, but I got them if I need them. And right now, I think I want to figure out how to automate... Tr oh, that actually reminds me. Kelp. Automated that jazz. I want to figure out if I can, uh, how I can automate trees. So I have here a saw with a chute and a chest. So I'm just going to hook it up to some water wheels and see what happens. Uh, so let me... Perfect. Two and three. All right, so I know it'll chop the tree. Say what now? Okay, um, I did try this out a little bit earlier, and uh, that one specific block... There we go. Uh, was... was mined earlier, so let's try it right here. Say what now? I don't care about processing. Cutting trees. Okay. Oh, okay. Alright, I did bring some gear boxes with. That's a good. Very nice. Ooh. Actually, yeah, let's put you forward one. You there. You nope. And then I'm gonna want to put when did pods over here? And then let's see what happens. I do see it's becoming nighttime. That's okay. I got armor. I got swords. I got fire resistance. Let me grab my lumber axe and see what happens after I chop it down. Uh, Cause we're definitely gonna want to automate wood. Ink sack. Oh, a tentacle. Panther. And we're going to need to chop down trees to automate wood. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be manually chopping wood for... Like, for... So let's grab our broad axe. Uh, let's also grab some... Let's see, I got 12 stacks. That's more than I have of fertilizer. So let's grab some bone meal. Yeah. Uh, by the way, the farm up top has been being very successful. Like, perhaps a little too successful. Like, I might... I, I should really sort. But I don't know how to filter stuff yet. Wait, what? How did that happen? Was that the saw? Alright, so let's just 
Chop the boy down. Chop the whole boy down. Give me all those saplings. Okay, so good news is it does not chop saplings. Also, yeah, it hurts. So what happens when I grow you? Uh, I'll tell you what happens. Nothing, because this thing doesn't want to be grown. <sighs> Give me my shafts. Eat my potato. No, it just lays it out. Try that again. We're gonna need some way of collecting the drops. Now, there is the vacuumulator, but that's a zinc machine. Oh. How in the heck am I gonna collect all this? Let's, let's just, what happens if I do, uh, Because if it, if it always falls in that specific pattern, because you, you guys were seeing how it just kind of fell on its side, right? If it always falls like that, that could be a way to make it work. I would need a way to automatically plant the saplings, which I'm not sure how I would do. Well... A, a, a deployer will plant saplings. Fans! I could use fans. That's what I could do. Okay, so you and you, you're coming with me. Uh, let's replace the dirt. Let's put a sapling down for fun. Um, so what I think I want to do is I want to have some fans blowing onto maybe a conveyor? But yeah, so we're going to need, uh, let's call it a decent chip. You're coming with me. You're coming with me, you boil. I am tired of hand cranking the yank stank. And then the depot right down there. Boom! Automation. Uh, we're also. I mean, I think I got all the materials I need out here. Uh, what does it take to make a at create fan? Well, I'm going to need my smithing table. But I can at least... Oh, I left the saws inside. Yeah, I'm just running to the inside. Um, but yeah, so if I have the fans blowing... So then I will also need you. And I want some more of you. Thirty-two should be plenty. Forty-four. Doesn't look like I have any of 
these boys. Luckily, that's a pretty easy fix. Alright, because if it always falls that way, it'll be pretty simple to hook it up so that way the fans blow. See? I do think it always falls that way. Is that minecart coupling? Cool. I don't have any iron on me, otherwise I'd make another smithing cable. Because I got like a stack of iron just from today. Uh, I do want the belt. I don't want the hand crank. So that, 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 that. But I will take the extra shoots. Alright, and then you smithing table. There it is. What? What the Hague? Oh, I... I see what happened. I middle-clicked on my... Inventory... On my first hand thing. On the hot bar. That's what it's called. Because we don't need to blow it that far. Let's see, if I place you... Oh, we're going to want one right here, actually. Perfect. Gear box. Gear box. Don't need the second gearbox, I just realized. All right. So we're going to want at least two more, and we're also going to want to back it up a level. You know what? I'm going to get a whole stack of iron sheets because they do take a little bit of time to process and I got iron for days. See that? Iron for several days. Of and give me a give me a stack of iron just to have in my inventory. Oh, you can also see I, uh, Hooked it up top so I didn't have to extend the horizontal. And so I could access it from without having to go underwater. Oh. Perfect. Alright, so that nope. You go away. But you actually go right there. Um, that should do. Uh, I may end up needing more stress units, but it doesn't look like it at the moment. I mean, one more. And then get back to processing. Uh, scootily boop. Be nice if there's a sleeping bag or something in this pack. Alright, so you. Need buckets. I need kinetic mechanisms. 
And then you have... Oh, you have two uses. I didn't know you had a second use. All right. So I'm going to want to probably hook up another... Not another. Or yeah, another. Probably going to want to hook up a belt so that way I can uh, scoot all the items over to a drawer. That's Andy. Yeah, it's always good to have building materials on you. Can I get step assist? So let's see, so if I... Need more shaft. Right, let's just, let's make it a little Okay, so if I do belt, like so, do I want it like that? Okay, give me a vertical gearbox. Give me a shaft right there. Break that. So what happens if I connect you? Like so, you're going the wrong way. That's what happens. So what I can do is break you, gearbox you, break you, gearbox you. All right. And then, hmm, question is, what do I want it to feed into? You know what, I can... Yeah, if, they, if that's blocked off, it won't go anywhere. gonna stick some shoots down there and I you know I wonder when it says automate these things how automated does it need to be it's like I I can probably just set up a drawer full of saplings and occasionally refill it and that's not perfectly automated of course but it's pretty dang automated like it'll get you large chunks of wood Without having to do much of any work. Alright. Then they get blown onto there. Let's try that again. Let's make sure it works. Because I don't see any saplings. Okay, so occasionally it'll get pushed a little too far, or fall on there, and that's that's okay as long as I average a sapling per tree. So now we want a deployer. Ooh, that needs a gold hand. Yeah, that's pretty simple. I keep seeing something moving up there. I'm like, oh yeah, it's my farm. Uh. So yeah, so let's grab a chunk of gold. One, two, three, four was it? I think it was four. 
a small amount of gold. And then I should have the rest of the materials I need on hand. Because I'll probably want to feed into the deployer with a hopper. I'll want a drawer, not a... Not a chair. Maybe I'll just go with a double chest. It's not a big deal. Got some more andesite machines. I made a mixer and I have not used it for a dang thing yet. Alright, so let's see what the best place to deploy is right there and what happens if I give you a sapling you'll also need kinetic energy nope not what I wanted It works. Doesn't do anything while that's happening. But then it places a sapling down. Okay. And now, let me... Go ahead and poke. Let me make a quick hopper. I guess I could try a shoot, but... I don't want to feed into it from the butt. Yes! Okay, so you grow. Right, that one went a little far. But you grow. You go in there. The deployer places. Guys, we got automated wood. Not perfectly automated. We're going to need a sorting system for that to happen. But guys... The automation, it's real. Yes. Ooh, baby. Okay. So this area is horrible on chunk boundaries. Uh, so that's good. That's good. That's good. I guess I don't really need this chunk. Oh, it's got like two things in it. But okay. I'm liking where this is going. So, okay. So you're good. I'm going to say you're good because, I again, it's similar to the tree situation. I don't have it fully, fully automated, but go, come inside. Come inside with me. Let me just put my tools away real quick. So, again, sand is not, sand and clay are not fully, fully automated. Look at all that. I'm going to call Clay good enough. Alright, so Algae Blender. I, 
I should probably, like, really automate that. Yeah, I should. Speaking of which, get me some more clay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get three drawers. I got two trim. Uh, let's process a little more zinc. I'm gonna make a, a decent chip. Needed a chest, right? Not a, not a that. We're gonna want one, two, three of you. All right. Uh, we are gonna want some of this. We're finally gonna make use of that mixer. Think a basin. Gonna want the key. Gonna want to sleep through this night. What a terrible night to have a curse. So again, again this stuff will not be fully automated, but it will be the kind of thing where it's like we just put a stack in there. And we are 32 stacks in there, and we get a, a poop load out. So, you go there. No. You go there. You go there. Ooh, we need gear. I should be able to handle that. We got wood gear, right? And some saplings. Loose sapling, not a huge deal. Dingus. Alright, so one, two. Button it up. And then a cogwheel. We'll go here. Again, I like this is not a resource I'm concerned about. Nope. Uh, wrong button. Everything's gone the right way, right? No, it's gone the wrong way. Because that is supposed to be a vertical gearbox. So we're going to want you, we're going to want a gear box, yes I have some at home, I know, I know. Actually, no. Unlock you. Because what I should... Because what I... I sh what I should be able to do is just come over here. Oh, well, that's a void. Dr okay, I'll. I won't. But uh, bring along a healthy helping of clay. Okay. 
I, I need to do something about this walk. Um, we're going to be wrapping up the episode soon-ish. But not quite yet. So actually, give me one, two of you, because I'm going to want to filter this bad boy. Come on. I really need to do something about this walk. I'm definitely going to be moving bases at some point. Oh, you can't do it sideways. Interesting. So, you get kelp, you get a filter applied, and what I'm going to do is very simple. One, two, three chests, some iron ingots that I left back at home. In fact, I think I put them in the wrong chest. Not that I have really any organization in my in my house. Yeah, and the reason I'm automating this part is that you can really only make like four stacks at a time in your crafting inventory. Uh, so this one should get like 64 stacks at a time. Then, hop her in, hop her in, hop her in. Ooh, that does not work. Mixer, why you no know mix? Does it have to be just one of each? If it does, I'm going to be very salted. Okay, so put that away. Put you and you in there. Oh, uh, we're still going to have to fix that, but, uh, okay. Okay, so we're going to need a gear, cog, a big cog. We're gonna have to figure out how to make this thing tape properly. I think it's best to just move this thing over by one. Which is unfortunate, because I've got a lot of stuff here, but it's not the end of the world. So, how are you doing, by the way? Uh, Nutri has not grown yet. That's okay. I'm okay with that. I can be patient. Basin goes here. Mixer gets placed on top. I'm 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick it over on this side, methinks. The crafting table, you can go up there. So, hopper here with a drawer, hopper there. Didn't mean to get a single kelp out of that, that's okay. Certainly ain't the end of the world. Hopper there with kelp. Let's go ahead and apply a filter. Alright, but I do need to figure out a way to get this thing out properly. think just some belts ought to do it but yeah so i'm sure you can see where i'm going with this i'm just gonna drop off a big load and it'll make a ton of algal blend oh, i didn't mean to grab that whatever you go away What? I think I might want an andesite tunnel. Or a funnel. Let's see, do I want... It's the funnel I want. I'm definitely going to need some of you. No, give me... Not the shoots, but the shaft. I don't need it to be long, but I do need it to face the right direction. You know, let's actually, let's go up one. And then belt from there to there. That's going the wrong way. That's an easy fix. We just got to gearbox there. Oh, it auto-outputs! Brilliant! And then andesite funnel. We got algae play. Guys. And uh, let me show you how I'm going to process the algae blend and why I'm not going to about auto-processing that. Because, uh, let's see. Oh, we are we are running long, but I'm just about finished. I mean, I'm sure I'm sure you know where I'm going with this, but uh, start your timers because it goes in now. And it finishes now. I think we'll be okay. So, you're good. You're good. Alright, so andesite is definitely something we're going to need to work on. But that's an episode, that's something for next episode. See you guys later.